So we have Rad Ryan 5Ds versus Jason Zhao. Yeah, uh, Ryan is actually a really good friend of mine. And uh, he's been playing with Infernoids for quite a while, so he knows the deck inside and out. And uh, he was previously featured on our uh, on our channel. Yeah, playing on Yu-Gi-Oh Day, Oscar versus Ryan's uh, Volcanics. Yeah. Now Jason Zhao, he plays a very interesting variant of Shadals. Yeah, to say the least, he's uh, playing Shadal Medolce. I wonder how well they synergize. Uh, I don't know. Like, Madolce has their own engine, but... I mean, Shadals are a l Like, they can be a small engine of their own. Wow. Like, Necro's signing them, so... Ryan rolls double six. And, uh, he lets... I believe Jason go first. Goes yes. with the upstart. 1,000 life to Ryan. And draws a card. Overall... This matchup, we haven't done this before. Yeah. So Foolish Burial. He's gonna into dump Squamata into Beast. So he'll get a get free, free draw. <laughs> Draws one for the Beast. Someone's a Hoot Cake. Okay, Banishes so the Squamata for the effect. Gets out Anjali, Anjali uh, effect, tribute, to summon out uh, Messenger Lotto, Messenger Lotto effect, to get, um, is that a ticket? Yeah, it's a ticket. Well, one thing to note is that uh, the Messenger Lotto cannot be destroyed by battle. And he passes turn. Well, no um, back row for Jason. So nothing surprising is gonna happen. So he puts a die on there just to make sure that. Uh, oh, that Ryan starts off with the reasoning. Reasoning is uh, the best opening. Well, there he mills the reasoning. Harmadic, Harmadic, uh, uh, Pat uh, Patrulia. Uh, so he actually hits Raiden. four Infernoid monsters, but Raiden will not be special summoned. Does it matter at this point? Uh, a little bit. I mean, the two extra mills would have been nice, but. He got four Infernoids into the graveyard, so... And three of them, I, actually a lot of them are the small ones, so um, that means they will be used as fuel for the bigger ones. Overall, not a bad mill. Hmm, Jason's looking through his, uh, taking out his extra deck. I think Ryan's just thinking about what he wants to do, which monster he wants to summon. And he's going to banish Bench two, two. summons. Is that? I don't know if that's Sightsmith or a Tondal. Uh, I think that one is. Yeah, that's an Tondal. Well, that means he can definitely at least destroy the Hoot Cake, at the very least. Yeah. I was going to banish three, three to summon Deviati, and that's going to wipe out Medolce Ticket. Well, that's uh, his entire hand. Oh, almost his entire hand. Well, that's all the Infernoids out of his graveyard, so... Well, this is a very committed play made by Ryan. Oh, and Tondal attacks the... Oh, I think uh, Ryan must have mixed up which one was summoned off of... Uh, yeah. If Antonal does not destroy a uh, monster by battle, it cannot attack a second time. But I don't think it matters too much, uh, because the Deviati will deal more damage yeah. anyway. So, uh, the monster gets shuffled back into the deck, as we know that Medolce monsters, when they hit the graveyard, they will shuffle back into the deck. Uh, if TR is on the board, it will be added to the hand instead. So sets one. Oh, he does have more cards. Activates upstart again. Uh, Ryan will gain another thousand life points. Well, that uh, messenger lotto did block some damage. It's pretty good. Oh, Rageki. Rageki is going down. 
And Tonald can will activate his effect to banish a card. Well, Deviati does not have another effect, so um, uh, so it's just going to be destroyed. Doesn't really matter since it's in the graveyard; it's the same as being in the hand. Uh, oh, he plays Shadow Fusion, fusing. Let's see what he has in hand. Chronomaly Crystal Bones. A Chronomaly card and Falco, I think. Falco. It is a Falco. That Chronomaly Crystal Bones is definitely an interesting choice. Well, I guess it's light, so you can make Construct with it. And if you know, it kind of works with your Merdolce cards, too. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's a great choice, but I mean... Okay, well, sending Squamata into the grave. Uh, Falco summons back. summons back. Squamata effect. Sends a dragon. Dragon pops a burial. Well, I can see why that uh, Ryan made that committed play because he can refuel his graveyard from the banished Infernoids. Yeah. So three Infernoids goes back into his graveyard. So the set Falco, and I think there's one card left in Jason's hand. And he uh, sets which it too. Also gonna get set. Swings with the 16 and swings with the 28. Uh, the Messenger Auto gets shuffled back as a part of Anjali's effect. So if you do not get rid of the monster summoned by Anjali uh, during the end phase, it will be shuffled back into the deck. So Ryan draws. Well, his graveyard's full of Infernoids. Really, really good position, I would actually think. Because uh, Jason doesn't have a hand, nor does he have any back row. Uh, there's only one unknown card, which is the, the recent set. So as long as you can play around the existing cards, I think it's uh, he's in a good position. Banish one, two. Someone's out. Sets a miss. And so he can even potentially banish the um, the contract, but he's a Falco. Falco. And adds. Falco's gonna special summon. Special summoning. Uh, I think here it actually summon a Squamata. Just because I think during the end phase, if he does banish Construct, he still has an out to the Sightsmiths. Yeah, so that's a Squamata there. It'll be interesting to see which one Ryan picks to banish. Uh, yeah. Even if uh, Sightsmiths dies to Construct, it won't, you won't take any damage from that. Right. But I mean, that Construct's just a huge threat. Squamata Squamata does get banished, right? So we still have one unknown card. Oh, oh Monster Gate. it off for Monster Gate. So it was one, Antra, uh, more cards. Three, more cards. Was that four. Card? Wow. Oh, so he mills four, four. more Infernoids and, and gets a card, card trooper. trooper. Card Trooper mills the another three cards. Mistake, charge, and charge. Oh, not uh, the greatest. The two movement. charges aren't that great, but I mean, he just loaded his grave up. He's ready to put some damage in next turn. Oh, he's banishing cards right now. I'm gonna banish two, two to summon. Uh, I believe that's Sightsmiss. Yes. Sightsmiss is on the board again. I'm curious as to why he wants that on board now. Maybe he just wants a bit of a wall? Well, should also have been known to do a lot of OTKs. Oh, so Ryan's, Ryan's actually gonna activate Dark Hole and chain the effect of his big Infernoid monster. So that when Construct dies, uh, he uh, uses his big Infernoid monster to banish the Shadal Fusion, and he doesn't actually get anything back. Wow, well played for It's a very guys. good play. So there's the Hedgehog that was also destroyed, so he's adding a Shadal monster back into his hand. Unfortunate, if only got that flip. Yeah. So he's now summoning Deviati. Or he might be banishing that. Is banished? No, oh, he, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's banishing, banishing Deviati. That. He banished Deviati and Onanku. So, uh, so he Setsumis. summons Sightsmith on board, sets one back row. I'm beginning to think the Sightsmith is like one of the most powerful monsters in Infernoid's <laughs> arsenal. Yeah, well, it can banish anything, and the monster, the card it banishes, doesn't target. So. Oh, that's really good. It's better than Tondo. Maybe Tondo's a good pushing, but. So Jason. Say? Now, Sightsmith is attacking into the Falco, right. and 
it doesn't really matter what um, he gets back, because... It's going to get banished it's by get banished. Sight's missing the end phase. But now, me saying that, I'm ignoring his uh, back row. Right. He could have a back row uh, to respond to that. Yeah, I think this is, this is actually where Jason called me over uh, when we were judging at the event. And uh, he, that set card is a Sinister Shadow Games. And he had a question about uh, when Sidesmith banishes the card and whether or not he'd be act uh, able to chain the Shadow Games. But it's at the end of the battle phase. So. Right. Um, I wasn't able to say anything here because he, he hadn't activated Shadow Games. He hadn't committed anything to the board. I have to wait for him to actually do something, right? But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so not that much of a difference on the game, but... Yeah, so Falco's... So he's, uh... Depending on what the ruling is going to go through, what you're going to deliver, right. uh, he might change his target. Right. But... Whatever monster he does summon, he will be able to change Sinister Shadow Games because Sightsmith activates at the end of the entire battle phase, not at the end of the damage step. Yeah. Right, so... So, Ryan's choosing to end battle phase right now. Yeah, so he ends the battle phase, and... So he activates so Sinister, Sinister Shadow, Shadow Games. Games. This way he gets to send one card into the graveyard and flip the, uh... I believe that was a beast? Yeah. So he's gonna dump... So he's dumping the... Uh, That's hedgehog. a hedgehog. He's dumping the hedgehog. And he's flipping, flipping up the, beast. The beast. So he's going to draw two and discard one and search for a card. Chain's mistake. Wow. wow. So the hedgehog is definitely not getting anything. <laughs> yeah. That's strange because, I mean, mistake's usually a dead card against Shadal, but in this case it's actually doing something, so. Oh, well, it's preventing, uh, it's preventing Jason from doing too much. He ditches the effect veiler from his hand. That was from Shadow Beast, so. Alright, so Draws Jason's card. turn. Sets one, sets two, passes turn. Ryan's turn. Would you be scared of this back row? Well, it swings. Uh, not really, it's Shadal's. I mean. Yeah, what can they, what do they really actually run? They don't run Mirror Force or anything. Well, they, they don't really have anything that can so it stop 26. a monster that has gotten on board already, right? Yeah. So 26, but uh... Can't banish because he didn't destroy a monster. Hmm. He's considering his card to play. Oh. So he sets it. So he sets it. Draws. Ryan draws a card for his turn. And. What's going on? Is he gonna put more monsters on board? I don't think he needs to commit, so he's swings no, he's for another 20, uh, 26. Uh, Since oh, he's the shadow games. shadow games. To dump. I think that's another beast. beast. He just wants to draw. I'm trying to dig for an answer to that uh, Sightsmith here. Yeah, not too much he can do. Infernoids uh, don't really use their extra deck, so it's gonna be very difficult. Uh, for Jason to play. And don't forget, he also runs Medulce. We're <laughs> forgetting the fact that there are Medulce's in the deck. Right. So, um, Jason scoops. Well, that was a very tough match for him. Yeah. Well, let's hope he can do better in game two. Maybe the side siding will help. Yeah, Ryan had some godly mills in that game, though. Yeah. So. Tough break for Jason. So now on towards game two. If I'm Ryan, I'm. I'm actually a bit confused about what I want to side in, just because, uh, you know, there's the Shadal engine and there's the Medulce engine, and... But how do they work together? I'm very curious that, about... I'm still that. not sure about I'm that. I'm like... This is new to me. It's not a common thing. So, uh, Jason starts with uh, a set and a, a... set monster and a set back row. What do you think Jason sided in? Shadals versus Infernoids. Do they run Iron Wall? I feel like he would side Imperial Iron Wall. 
I, I decided in if it was me. But. So, oh, oh, uh, so that's a Shadow Games. So that was a Lila into a Shadow Games. So probably gonna flip that monster. Just gonna dump Falco. Falco and flip some in head. Uh, Squamata. Squamata, so Squamata it. eats Lila. So that's why he did not go into a Squamata first. I think Ryan's just afraid of some back row here. Yeah, so reasoning. he has the reasoning. Alright, let's see. He knows one, uh, two. two. Well, there's a Deviati. How are they? Void Seer. Seer. Two, two Void, Void Seers. Seers. My god. Eight. A fiend comedian. Fiend comedian. That's oh, that's good. interesting. And eleven. Ryan. Stop. Stop, Ryan. Ryan, no. stop. No. No, you no, it's not that was just not even fair. Oh, that dear. was not fair. So Raiden doesn't get special summon, but it doesn't Who even matter. Cares. He milled a quarter of his entire deck. I think with he actually one milled card. like fifteen cards. Holy I think the game's uh, that's insane. Over. <laughs> Ryan, you the are the infernoid God. dream. Yeah. <laughs> And there is a Deviati in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So Jason definitely has his work cut out for him. Just try not to die and outlast Ryan, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Three cards left in his hand. Uh, Ryan technically has way more cards in his control. Just from that graveyard mill. That mill is crazy. That was an insane mill. Ryan did say he loves this deck, and this deck loves him. <laughs> and now the deck is showing its love. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's just two. Or is it three? He's not even playing Man with his hand at this point. He's playing with his graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Sight's Miss no, is a no, good card to go into. Oh. So it's an Atondal. Uh, yeah, Atondal is going to... Oh, it drops a... Uh, he summon Flying Seek? I'm... I'm I'm actually not really sure. Well, Antonio, okay, it's yeah, it's really I, bad. He gave him a free banish. He just I I don't know what Jason was thinking. Um, that was a bit weird. Not the best play. I think what he was thinking. He was trying to level block. Him. Right. He was trying to level restrict block. the levels that Ryan could use, but he completely forgot that Atondal can just tribute it to banish the card. Like, oh, he lost a. Your card there. Now he's back to level eight, so he can summon more cards. <laughs> Definitely a subpar play. Ah, uh, that was not the best choice. Oh, three, three. Better three to summon Deviati. So Deviati can negate the face down monster. Oh, and he has another reason. Ryan, stop, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan no. <laughs> Show some mercy. <laughs> oh, he's gonna call five. That's I think. No, what's he afraid no. of? Two. Three. Okay, there's the other reasoning. That's over. I don't. Uh, how many Infernoids does he have Six, left in his deck to seven, mill? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh dear. Twelve. Thirteen. Ryan, do you have a deck left? Fourteen. He has two cards left <laughs> in his deck. <laughs> he got the right. <laughs> you got the wrong number. Oh three. dear. He can choose to mill more cards. <laughs> He could raid and mill and just deck himself How out. confident are you right now to play without a deck? Can you win in this turn? No, he's going to go with the attacks. And face raid and mill. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, most likely that Raiden is going to... Is Raiden going to stay on the board? Actually, I think Ryan has three cards in deck, so he'll be able to mill during the end phase. Uh, draw one for turn next turn, and then kill Jason. One card left. So next yeah. turn is Ryan's last turn. <laughs> so Ryan turn. <laughs> has to win next turn, but I don't think there's much of a doubt about that. That, this is what we call you. Oh, he has Raigeki. Oh, I don't think that matters. Uh, I mean, Jason can try to kill Ryan this turn, but... I, at this point, I would try to stall and try to deck him out. <laughs> One card. Oh, he has double voids here. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Jason okay. Jason scoops. And, and Ryan um, takes the game. Some crazy mills by Ryan. That was so, absolutely insane. This is what Inferno matches should look like. Yeah. Well, for the Inferno player, you're hoping, <laughs> right? <laughs> so round three of the MOS Alpha goes to Rad Ryan's 5D. 
So if you like this video, please give us a like and of course subscribe if you want to see more MOS Alpha tournament uh, duels. And as always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV.